opening faceoff. Rain skating left to right on your radio dial, right to left on ECHL TV. It's the Grizzlies who control first. Separate. Moving it out now is Tristan King towards center ice for Matt White. He's got speed. Shot. He scores! Matt White gives Ontario an early lead, a minute 39 into period number one. And a heads up play by Tristan King to push that puck out in front of Matt White. Matt White uses his speed to break through the D. He goes across the blue line with the puck, one on one with him and Igor Bobkov. Fakes the forehand, goes to backhand, five hole through Bobkov's legs. And it is Ontario now who's up 1-0. Matt White splits the defensive pairing of Weller and Hardua and goes top shelf on Bob Kopp to collect his sixth of the season. Blue line, Roach holding it at the point. Unload, shot delayed, penalty coming up against the Grizzlies. Okener off for the extra attacker. No, with a shot! He scores! Gary Nunn goes top shelf and rockets one past the blocker of Igor Bobkov. Ontario gets a 2-0 lead. Gary Nunn, a difference maker in last night's game with three assists. Tonight he says, I'm going to get involved in the action in any way that I can with Rutherford and Blackwater, my line mates out. And he goes to the top shelf right here on a shot coming between the two circles at the top of the slot. Gary Nunn on the delay penalty beats Bob Kopp. Bob Kopp didn't even see it coming through the traffic. Point for register, 12 seconds left on the power play. Brown at the right circle, back to register, across, back to register again, shot, he scores! And it's tipped in front, it looked to have been Rocco Carzo, and Ontario takes a 3-0 lead with 4.29 to play in the first period, and it's a power play goal. And it was the audible noise there at the end of a stick hitting a puck from Rocco Carzo. Carzo, we mentioned it literally a minute and a half ago, how good he's been in the painted area, clearing when he needs to clear, getting redirects when he needs to. On the one-time feed here, Matt Register hits it off. Carzo gets the tip, beats Popkoff, 3-0 your score. And that one may have even def a very, very short list of times that White had spent in the sin bin during the regular season. Off the face-off, shot, and he scores! Tristan King with a wrister from the blue line. It may have been tipped in front. But I believe, credit that to Tristan King, six seconds into the power play, it's a power play goal. We talked a little bit about how valuable Tristan King is as a fourth attacker on the power play earlier in tonight's set. Here in the second period, he gets things going in a hurry as he throws this one on frame. Had the help of the likes down low. I believe that was Kopitar who ultimately obstructed the vision of Bobkov. And now Bobkov's out, Levine's in, and there's melee breaking out here at Citizens Business Bank Arena. Pass from Pellick. Big hit there from, it looked to have been Couture on Oban. Delayed penalty coming up against the Grizzlies. Shot and a score. And the Grizzlies get on the board. Michael Pellick on a delayed whistle goes top shelf on Okanora and cuts the rain lead to three goals. It's 4-1 to one Ontario. Poked free by Danik Paquette. Back to the blue line for Pellick. His shot and a score. The Grizzlies cut their deficit to two goals. A seeing eye shot from Matt Pellick. It might have had eyes. It might have been deflected on its way to the net. Either way, Ontario still maintains a 4-2 lead. Rain forced the puck out. King beats out Paquette in the foot race. King walking in. King with a shot. He scores! Tristan King with a dagger! And Ontario takes a 5-2 lead with 4.30 left to play. And it only is appropriate to call this call very slow. Patience, because that's exactly what Tristan King had. He let Gary Nunn come from the weak side to the near side post where King was at. He brought a body with him, brought the eyes of Levine with him for just a split second. King trailed in behind him and then went back to the near post and it was able to light the lamp and gets Levine sleeping there. Hayes can't handle the puck and now Nunn is off to the races. Nunn leaves it, bats it in front for White, shoots, he scores! Matt White with the hat trick! And here come the hats! Matt White helping out Gary Nunn down inside the offensive zone. There was only one defender back on D. It was the speed of none that got to the puck, and he simply fed it across at the top of the slot to Matt White. Matt White took his time with an open net. He throws it in, 
and here it comes. It's raining hats here in Citizens Business Bank. Three goals on the night for Matt White. The last time a rain skater had a hat trick was back in 2013. It was C.J. Stretch. He had a four-goal game against the Grizzlies in a 7-2 blowout in the first round. Likely going back for icing. Olkenor, though, comes out to play the puck. Six seconds remaining in game two, and the rain will go on to take a 2-0 series lead. Final score, the Grizzlies 2, Ontario 6.